All right, so to prove the, uh, the power rule, we have to use the definition of the derivative. Um, so let's, let's just start off with uh, the derivative of uh, x to the n. Uh, this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of uh, the following fraction. x plus h to the n minus x to the n uh, all over h. So this is just using the definition of the derivative. Okay, now to be able to you know figure this out um, we need to use an identity and uh, you probably don't really remember it but notice um, here what we've got is uh, basically a situation where you have let me let me write it as a let's say for example you have a squared minus b squared if you try to factor this you would get uh, a minus b and then a plus b and then if you remember um, you can do the same thing with a cubed this would be a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared <clears throat> and so you can keep doing this um, until you get to um, the general case which is going to be a minus b and then you're going to have a to the n minus one so one less than whatever this guy is plus a to the n minus 2 b to the 1 and so what ends up happening is uh, basically the a the first one um, the degree goes down every time until you get to a to the 1 b to the n minus 2 and then plus b to the n minus 1 so notice how the degree of the first one goes down and the degree of the second guy goes up each time. Okay, so if you apply in this um, identity back over here, what you would get is that this guy is equal to, let me give myself enough space, um, this is going to be, uh, the first parentheses is going to be, so here you have to imagine that um, x plus h is your a right here and x is your uh, b. So then what we're going to have is uh, a minus b, so that's x plus h minus x times x plus h to the n minus 1 and then also actually I forgot here this is the limit as h approaches 0 and let me uh, erase this guy right here okay so then if we continue we would get uh, x plus h to the n minus 2 and then times b which is x to the 1 and then plus dot 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 plus x plus h to the 1 times x to the n minus 2 plus x to the n minus 1 and all of this is over h. Now something really interesting happens um, these x's subtract and so you just have h right here multiplying this entire parentheses well these two can be divided h and h can be divided to leave you with one and one and then notice right here what's happening is uh, these guys so as h goes to zero if h is going to zero then what this is equal to is this is x to the n minus 1 plus 
x to the n minus 2 times x plus dot 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 plus x to the 1 times x to the n minus 2 plus x to the n minus 1. Well, take a look at uh, each one of these guys. Uh, this one, for example, when you multiply these two together, this guy has an exponent of 1. You add the exponents, this would give you x to the n minus 1. So all of these, this one as well, is an x to the n minus 1. Well, how many of these do you have? Well, you have n x to the n minus once. And that's it. You've proved it. Now this is just for uh, integers um, and um, you can prove it for any real number but you need a little bit more information. A little bit more tools. But for now that's good enough.